Hello guys, my name is Shaima. So today I will teach you how to do this door design, door panel design for kitchen cabinet. Okay, first go to customize and go to system cabinet. Okay, and then from basic cabinet you change to parts and you select super board. Okay, change the size width to 450, the depth to 680 okay and the size I change it to 3 okay I want it to be thin okay and then you can rotate it press the X button on your keyboard to rotate it okay and then you press Z button to move it upward You change the elevation to zero so we'll snap to the floor okay then right click first you press B button to go into board selection mode and then you right click go to panel point editing okay and then you drill hole select drill hole and draw make sure you draw in the middle you see the measurement here Okay, make sure the rectangle you draw is center. Okay, and then save, return. So the board will be like this. Okay. Okay, now we're going to copy the board. Okay, click Control C and then Control V. So we copy the board like this. Okay, and then make sure you are still in board selection mode. Right click and then go into panel point editing. Okay, you see the inside rectangle here click the rectangle and then delete it okay select the line and just press delete button okay so next we're going to draw another rectangle but before that you see the bottom screen here you can zoom a bit so you can see better Okay. see the blue arrow here it indicate as the side of the panel okay then drill hole select rectangle okay see the placement you can adjust the placement according to the measurement here okay next we're going to drill another rectangle inside don't forget to tick orthogonal button here. Okay. Same size. Okay, so you cannot draw rectangle. You have to draw a line. Okay. Go downward, just type 5. Then connect the line. Okay, make sure you connect the lines. Draw another line. Go downward, 5. Okay. okay. So here, I fast forward. So this is how it look. Okay. Once done, you can click save and then return. Okay, so this is how it look like. Select the board and change the thickness to 12. Okay, and then press Z button on your keyboard. Okay, and then select point capture here. So we're going to snap it behind the board. Okay, select the edge point here. And join it to another edge point. Here. So I want it to go backward undo first okay to undo you can click ctrl z button okay so this is how the board will look like okay 
and then drag another super board. Okay, drag it down here. Change the size to 450, 680, and the thickness, I change it to 3, okay. Switch the size, okay, and then press X button to rotate it. Okay, to move it, you can press Z button. Okay, here I move it upward. Okay, rotate it a bit so it goes straight. Okay, like this. Okay. You can set the elevation to zero so it will snap to the floor. Okay, press Z button. Go into point capture. Okay. Just like now I show you, select the edge point here, okay, and then join the point. Okay, done. So this is how it looks like. Okay, and then you can select it and click Ctrl G to group it, okay. Go to favorite so we want to use the panel you can go to favorite here you can change the material also you can also upload your own texture Okay, so here I change the material. Okay, now it's done. You can move it and adjust the position to your kitchen cabinet. Okay, basically this is how the final look. If you want to go to much easy way, I show you another method. Okay, click on any wall behind it and then go to all door panels and panel type. Okay, click universal door. You can choose any type of door here. Okay, and then right click on the wall. Go to all door panels and door core style. Okay, so here you go to door core. You can select any type of door with hidden handle. Okay, there's a lot of type here you can choose. Okay, let's say I choose G handle here. Okay, choose it. So we'll generate the handle like this. Okay. This one you can also change the material. Okay, you can change the material here. Okay, so this is how it looks like. You guys can try it out. Okay, thank you for watching.